Uh-oh, here comes the magic school bus. That means that Ms. Frizzle is about to take us on another weird trip. You have no idea what she makes us go through, but you are about to find out. Thanks to Joanna Cole, who wrote about us in The Magic School Bus, Inside a Hurricane, and Bruce Deegan, who drew the pictures. <laughs> if you want to come along, climb on board and bring your book. Not all the words in the book are on this tape, but you can still follow along. Just turn the page when you hear this sound. <laughs> Have you heard about our teacher, Miss Frizzle? Her clothes are wild, her school bus is wacky, and her class trips are weird. Whenever we study something in her class, we get into it in a really big way. Class, to understand weather, we have to know about the sun. It's a hot topic. We were learning about weather. Absolutely everything in our room was about rain or snow or sun or wind. Every kid in the class was doing a weather project. At my old school, we didn't have all these projects. At my old school, our teacher didn't dress that way. We were even listening to weather reports on Ms. Frizzle's radio. And now for the weather. <laughs> so, we weren't surprised one morning when Ms. Frizzle said, it's a perfect day for our trip to the weather station. We'll meet a team of weather forecasters. We'll learn about our atmosphere. Miss Frizzle says we have to know about air to understand weather. I can't see it. Air is a mixture of invisible gases. The Earth is wrapped in a blanket of air, 510. Our atmosphere is a blanket of air hundreds of miles thick. Most of our weather happens in the troposphere, the eight miles of air that is closest to Earth. Air has weight. A balloon with air in it is heavier than an empty balloon. We have to know about water, too. Air contains water. When water evaporates, water molecules go into the air. Question. When does the weather change? Answer. When the air changes, by Shirley. One, is the air hot or cold? Two, is it dry or moist? Three, is it still or moving? When these things change, the weather changes. We hadn't finished our experiment about air, but with Frizzy at the wheel, we were going, ready or not. Sorry, I can't go, Miss Frizzle. I, I have to sharpen my pencil. But Arnold, maybe we'll have a real adventure. In that case, I have to sharpen several pencils. Look for a change in the weather, folks. In no time, we were riding along in the old school bus. We were trying to get some music on the radio. Listeners, winds are picking up speed. That radio won't play music. All it does is give the weather. It figures. Wind is just air that is moving, children. What makes wind? By Arnold. A mass of heavy air rolls in and pushes on a mass of lighter air. When the air mass is moved, that is wind. Winds range from gentle breezes to strong gales that can destroy things. We didn't see Ms. Frizzle turning a strange little dial on the dashboard. We didn't notice that the bus was changing. All of a sudden, Dorothy Ann said, Look! We couldn't believe it. We were all wearing flying suits. We were sitting in a basket. The bus had turned into a hot air balloon, and we were about to lift off. At my old school, we never went up in hot air balloons. Sounds like my kind of school. We'll be using this gas burner to heat the air in the balloon. Heat makes air expand by Molly. Hot air expands because heat makes air molecules bounce far apart. Two words from Dorothy Ann. When something expands, it spreads out. 
air molecules are the tiniest bits of air. We started going up, and Miss Frizzle said, Did I mention, children, that hot air rises? See Hot Air Rise by Alex and Rachel. Cut a spiral out of paper. Use a needle and thread to make a hanger for your spiral. Hold it over a light bulb. The light bulb heats the air. The warm air rises and makes the paper spiral thin. Why does hot air rise by Carla? Hot air is lighter than cold air, so it floats on top of cold air, the way a marshmallow floats on hot chocolate. Class, every day, all over the world, scientists send up special balloons to take weather measurements. We're going up. Wow! We rose higher and higher. Even though hot air was filling the balloon, the air around us was growing colder. We had to put on warm jackets. Going up, better bundle up. Bye, Phoebe. Warm air rises from Earth. As it goes up, it gets colder. It's cold up here. You're not afraid of high are you, Arnold? That radio spoke to me. How did it know my name? Ah, oh, I knew I should have stayed home today. You can't see it, but it's all around you. What is it? Air. Warm air rising from Earth carries lots of water vapor molecules, Ms. Frizzle continued. As the air rises, it cools down. The water condenses in the air and forms clouds. A Weather Word by Dorothy Ann. When water condenses, molecules of water vapor join together and make drops of liquid water. Did you bring your raincoat on? Tell me this isn't happening. We drifted into the center of a cloud. Ms. Frizzle was right. It was damp in there. The cloud was made of tiny water droplets hanging in the air. Three kinds of clouds by Wanda. One, curly or wispy clouds are called cirrus. Two, layered clouds are called stratus. Three, lumpy or puffy clouds are called cumulus. What kind of clouds are forming around Ms. Frizzle and the kids? Down below, the forecasters at the weather station were talking. When is that teacher bringing her class? Not till later. Much later. Inside the cloud, droplets began coming together. They formed bigger and bigger drops. As the drops became heavier, they started falling. It takes thousands of droplets to form just one raindrop. Most classes stay in on rainy days. Not Miss Frizzle's class. What makes rain clouds turn dark by Gregory? Rain clouds have lots of ice crystals and big heavy raindrops. These block out the sun. Down below, the weather forecasters were standing in the rain. They didn't see us inside the cloud, but we could hear their voices. One of them said, I hope that teacher knows there's a hurricane watch in effect. Check out my hurricane watch, Arnold. Get it? Hurricane watch. I'm pretending I can't hear. What is a hurricane by Floyd? A hurricane is one of the most violent kinds of storms. In a hurricane, winds swirl in a circle around the storm center at 74 miles per hour or more. More words from Dorothy Ann. A hurricane watch means that a hurricane may strike within the next 36 hours. A hurricane warning means that a hurricane is likely to strike within the next 24 hours. A warning is more urgent than a watch. As usual, Miss Frizzle paid no attention. She turned up the fire, and more hot air rushed into the balloon. As we rose above the cloud, the wind started pushing us south. Before long, we had traveled thousands of miles. 
Miss Frizzle said we were above a tropical ocean about 500 miles north of the equator. What is the equator? By Carlos. The equator is an imaginary line around the Earth's middle. It divides the globe into two equal parts. Why is it hotter near the equator? By Michael. Because of the way the Earth is tilted, the sun's rays almost always shine toward the Earth's middle. This means there are no cold winters there. Wow, look at that water. We can go swimming. And windsurfing. And snorkeling. Below us, blue-green waves were sparkling. On a sandy island, palm trees were waving. It looked like a vacation paradise to us. But Frizzy said, Class, we have now arrived at one of the world's hurricane breeding grounds. Nearly all hurricanes get started over warm tropical oceans, kids. I've heard that hurricanes are dangerous. So Miss Frizzle is taking us to one. She would. Why do hurricanes have names? By Carmen. Often, more than one hurricane is brewing at once. It's easier to keep track of them if they are given names. Some famous hurricanes are Agnes, Andrew, Bob, Elena, Gilbert, Gloria, and Hugo. Hi, Bob. What's happening, Gloria? When is hurricane season? By Rachel. Most hurricanes begin in the late summer and early fall. That is when tropical oceans are warmest. The warmer the ocean is, the stronger the hurricane is likely to become. Class, remember that as hot air rises from the ocean's surface, the water vapor in the air condenses and forms clouds, said the frizz. Down below, more hot air rushed in from all sides to take the place of the rising air. In the middle of the rising air, a column of sinking air formed. We started sinking with it. Our balloon is falling. Oh, no. A hurricane is starting. Oh, dear, said Ms. Frizzle. The balloon must have sprung a leak. Hot air was rushing out, and the balloon was plummeting fast. Jump ship, class, shouted the Frizz. She jumped overboard and we went after her. Right away, we knew it was a big mistake. Follow me, kids. Hurry up and jump, Arnold. I can't look. Do all tropical storms become hurricanes? By Amanda Jane. No. All around the world, there are more than 100 tropical storms each year. Only about 60 of them grow to hurricane strength and only a handful of those ever reach places where people live. What makes hurricane winds blow in a circle? By Alice. Winds begin by flowing straight, but the movement of the earth as it spins on its axis makes them curve. The faster winds blow, the more they curve. Hurricane winds are very fast, so they curve and curve until they make a circle. blowing the clouds into a huge circle. The storm is starting to take on the typical shape of a hurricane. Isn't it fascinating, children? Shouted Miss Grizzle. It was more than fascinating. It was terrifying. We were caught in the edge of the storm, blowing around and around in a giant whirlwind. That whirlwind was a hurricane. going around in circles. I'm getting dizzy. A typical hurricane has a lifespan of about 10 days. Listeners, we'll be telling you about the whole hurricane. Maybe its batteries will run out soon. How big is a hurricane? By John. Hurricanes are enormous. Each one is about 10 miles high and 300 to 600 miles wide. In the clouds around us, huge bolts of lightning were flashing. We 
thought it was all over for us. But we saw the bus again. It had become a weather plane, the kind that explores hurricanes. We tumbled into a rescue chute and fell onto the plane. That is the bus. Uh, we mean the plane. It's our bus. It looks different. Let's get on now. Come back. Lightning is electricity, by Ralphie. Clouds become charged with electricity. When the voltage gets high enough, electricity leaps from one place to another. Then we see lightning. Lightning is hot, by Keisha. A lightning ball reaches a temperature of 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about five times hotter than the sun's surface. During a thunderstorm, lightning can make more electricity than a big city uses in a week. Thunder is a sound made by air. By Phoebe. Lightning heats up air and makes it expand. Thunder is the sound of the air expanding. When you open a soft drink can, you hear a pop. That's the sound of air expanding. It's just like thunder, only much smaller. Thunder crashed and boomed. We covered our ears. Miss Frizzle turned the plane and we headed straight towards the center of the storm. We had the feeling someone was missing. We are now experiencing a hurricane close up. Not to worry, Arnold. I'm sure we'll be fine. Why does everything always happen to me? <coughs> Thunderstorms. Rain, rain, and more rain by Flory. In 20 minutes, one thunderstorm sends down 125 million gallons of water. Flew through miles of thunderstorms and Miss Frizzle took roll call. Guess who was missing? Arnold. He had fallen and missed the plane. Arnold fell. Oh no. Poor kid. Arnold is now experiencing the hurricane close up. But not to worry, Tim. I'm sure he'll be fine. Miss Frizzle marked Arnold absent and flew straight into the storm. We were flying into the hurricane. What a disaster. Why does everything always happen to us? We'll be seeing stormy seas today, Arnold. Seeing stormy seas? I'm touching them, smelling them, tasting them. Do the winds blow inside a hurricane by Carmen? In the outer part of the hurricane, winds go 40 miles per hour. In the middle of the hurricane, they go 74 miles per hour. And in the inner hurricane, they zoom at 120 to 150 miles per hour. The farther into the hurricane we went, the faster the winds blew. At last, we came to the inner hurricane and entered the eye wall a ring of heavy clouds around the storm center. In the eye wall, the winds were blowing the fastest yet, and the rain was coming down in shape. The eye wall is the fiercest part of the hurricane. We're encountering turbulence, class. Turbulence is when the air is violently disturbed. I am violently disturbed. All around were columns of air called hot towers, or chimneys. They were sucking up more and more hot, moist air from the ocean. The heat energy from the air was feeding the storm and making it stronger. The plane was shaking, and so were we. I'm all shook up. Please stay seated, class. 
Hey, kid, how did you get out here? It's a long story. Planes will be as high as a house. The wind speed is 40 miles per hour here. <laughs> then suddenly, everything was quiet. Class, we have entered the eye, or center, of the hurricane, announced Ms. Frizzle. The ocean waves still crashed below, and the winds howled outside. But in the eye, only gentle breezes blew. Up above, the sky was blue and the sun was shining. We relaxed and enjoyed ourselves. Peace and quiet. Balmy breezes. It's Quiet in the Eye of a Hurricane by Carlos. The fierce swirling winds of the hurricane do not enter the center of the storm. Why Don't Hurricane Winds Blow Into the Eye by Shirley. The winds swirl in toward the eye of the storm, but they do not enter it because they are pushed out by the same force that pushes you outward when you spin around. We flew about 30 miles across the eye. Then the frizz called out. We will enter the other side of the eye wall now. Don't go! We cried, but the plane was already on its way back into the hurricane's fierce wind and rain. We're trying to reach land before the full force of the hurricane hits. Good idea. The hurricane is approaching land. There will be heavy flooding along the coast. The entire hurricane was moving across the ocean toward land, and we were going with it. The right forward corner of the hurricane, as you're looking toward land, has the strongest wind and rain and the highest ocean waves, shouted the Frizz. Naturally, she flew directly into that part. How Hurricanes Travel by Wanda When a hurricane starts, it usually moves slowly, about 10 to 20 miles per hour. As the storm gets farther north, its speed can increase up to 60 miles per hour. Hurricanes can travel hundreds of miles each day. Which part of the hurricane is strongest by Flory? The right front corner is strongest because the whirling winds are circling toward the shore. They add their strength to the winds that move the storm forward. A hurricane moves like a top spinning across the floor. It moves two ways. It spins around and it travels forward. Let's take a spin. Arnold should be reaching land any minute now. The hurricane should be reaching land any minute now. We must evacuate before the floods come. Tell me about it. Another weather word by Dorothean. When people evacuate an area, they get out of there fast. <coughs> Hurricanes, then and now, by Ralphie. In the past, there was less property damage. Today, coastal areas are more built up, so more houses and buildings are damaged in hurricanes. But today, not as many lives are lost. In past times, many people were killed because no one knew when hurricanes were coming. Today, weather forecasts tell us to get ready for hurricanes. In 1900, more than 6,000 people drowned when a storm surge swept across Galveston Island, Texas, class. That was a long time ago. It wouldn't happen now. Today, hurricane predictions save lives. As the hurricane approached land, the wind pulled up trees by the roots and blew the roofs off houses. It also blew ashore a huge dome of water called the Storm Surge. The ocean rose 10 feet higher than usual, and on top of that, there were giant waves. 
We were horrified as we watched the storm surge sweep over the shore below. But that was nothing compared to the horror we felt when we heard the frizz shouting above the sound of roaring water. We seem to be running out of gas, children. Sure enough, the plane was dipping lower and lower. As we fell into the water, we saw Arnold waving to us from a nearby rope. That kid looks familiar. That plane looks familiar. Arnold, we need to evacuate now. Somehow, Arnold managed to get on the plane before we were swept away by the waves at the front edge of the hurricane. The water was creeping up the windows. The plane was going to sink for sure. We fell into the ocean. We flew into the eye. A fishing boat picked us up. The eye wall was the worst. We thought we were goners. We thought we were goners. Then we saw a dark funnel shape coming our way. We are goners! I've seen that shape on TV, said Ralphie. I read about it in a book, said Keisha. The twister came right for us. The next thing we knew, it had picked us up and we were traveling by tornado. Tornadoes often occur at the edges of hurricanes moving over land, class. What is a tornado? By Arnold. A tornado is a twisting, funnel-shaped whirlwind that hangs from a thundercloud. Are tornadoes and hurricanes alike? By Phil. Yes and no. Tornadoes and hurricanes are both whirlwinds, but tornadoes, one, are much smaller than hurricanes, two, have faster winds for the most part, three, destroy almost everything in their path. Tornadoes can twist at speeds of 200 to 300 miles per hour. A typical tornado has a short lifespan, only a few minutes. I think my lifespan just got shorter. <laughs> After a while, we felt a bump and looked around. The tornado had set us down gently. We were in our old school bus again. We were dressed in our regular clothes again. The hurricane was over, and we were at a gas station. Can tornadoes really carry objects? By Keisha. Yes, tornadoes are like giant vacuum cleaners. They lift dirt, trash, and even large objects, such as houses, cars, trees, and railroad trains. Once a tornado picked up a crate of eggs and set them down miles away, not one egg was broken. Thank goodness! Usually, the things that are picked up by a tornado are broken apart, but not always. Take our case, for example. We're all okay. Here's a treat just for you, Arnold. Another weather update. Even the radio is still working fine. That depends on what you mean by working fine. Miss Frizzle filled up the tank and drove down the road as if nothing had happened. As I said earlier, class, we are on our way to visit a weather station, she said. The weather forecasters at the station had a lot to tell us about hurricanes. We had a lot to tell them, too. Hurricane winds swirl in a circle because... Of the rotation of the Earth. Hey, that's right. A hurricane dies as it moves over land because... There is no more hot, moist ocean air to fuel the storm. The kids know a lot about hurricanes, don't they, Al? That radio spoke to me. How did it know my name? I knew I should have stayed home today. 
a hurricane from start to finish. One, hot air rises over tropical oceans near equator. Two, thunder clouds form. Three, winds begin circling around eye of storm. Four, storm travels. Five, circling winds increase to seventy-four miles per hour or more. Six. If hurricane reaches shore, land is flooded by storm surge. Seven, hurricane fades gradually as it moves inland. The future of hurricanes. More, 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 by Amanda Jane. During times when the Earth is warmer, there may be more hurricanes. Many scientists think the Earth's temperature is going up. If this is true. There could be more hurricanes in our future. Global warming could mean more hurricanes, and they might be stronger. Finally, we drove back to school and finished up our weather projects. And now for some music. What? No more weather? Cool. All right. After that trip, we needed some time to relax. We had great games, crazy dancing, and yummy snacks. And for a while, we didn't even think about Ms. Frizzle's next class trip. Singing in the rain, singing in the rain. You dance quite well for a radio. At my old school, our teacher never wore bee shoes.